Well, I have a sense that among the Dagara people there is a real concern with uh, the soul, the evolution of, of the soul or spirit of, mm -hmm. of each person who was born into that village. That's and correct. I would imagine uh, a sense of, of some kind of purpose of, of the Dagara people themselves. Yes, that's true. This, uh, the, the function of the soul is extremely, extremely uh, carefully examine because the soul is not an entity that has a start and an end. The soul is in constant orbital uh, mode between the land of the ancestors and the land of the tribe. And so what happened is that the general impression that they give to the soul is that it goes to the ancestor in order to recharge itself and to build up a purpose or a plan, then takes on a space suit, enters the cosmos into the tribe, execute that mission, mm -hmm. then return back to brief or debrief mm -hmm. in, uh, among the ancestors and to receive again new charges, new mission mm -hmm. to be performed here. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, in, in the Western world, mm -hmm. there is some small amount of scientific interest in this question of the okay. nature of the soul mm -hmm. and, and the nature of other dimensions with which we interact. And yes. in some cultures, like the Tibetan culture, there's a very e evolved knowledge. But mm -hmm. I sense that in, in your community, the Dagara people have mm -hmm. also developed a highly evolved uh, working relationship between the, the world of the tribe and mm -hmm. the world of the ancestors. In fact, that's, uh, that's a kind of rhythm that is a spiritual rhythm that the village live by. In other words, it determines the, uh, the whole cultural fabric mm -hmm. and as well as the nature of the, f the interaction between, me between members of the same village, members of the same tribe, etc. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the, uh, the, the, the kind of respect which is given to the soul is the same as the respect that is given to the ancestor because soul means an ageless entity that is preparing itself to bring a substantial contribution to the betterment, to the stability of a community, a given community. In this case, it's either a village mm -hmm. or an entire tribe. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, the, uh, the, the one thing that people get interested in. It's not so much the physical constitution, but the containment or what is contained within that physical appearance. Mm -hmm. Because that is the one that contained the truth, the, uh, the, 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 the information that lead to the exact identity mm -hmm. of the kind of physical appearance that mm -hmm. we have in front of us. You, you even write about in a very interesting way in, in reference to your grandfather who was your teacher when you were a child about how sometimes he, he would take on a, um, a very smelly characteristic he wouldn't wash and he would cultivate really mm -hmm. pungent powerful odors around him and this was related to uh, maintaining the purity of the souls. In fact that's true. Mm -hmm. The ancestral land is, is recognizable by its an attractive smell. Mm -hmm. It's unattractive. An attractive smell. Yes. And anything that smells bad, mm -hmm. in other words, is something that is reminiscent of the proximity of such a, of such a world. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is not uncommon to see elders who, therefore, are say to be moving slowly towards embarking for that world, to actually do their own dress rehearsal uh, in terms of scent, uh, negligence of physical appearance, mm -hmm. simply because of the gradual f greater f and greater focus mm -hmm. on matters pertaining to the soul. Yes. And of course, those of us who are still in the growing process find that quite uh, repulsive, yes. uh, to say the least. Uh, and that translates, of course, the difference between the a young and ex inexperienced mm -hmm. uh, human being as opposed to the one that has 
almost completed his journey mm -hmm. and is about mm -hmm. to go on and join hand with the ancestors. And, well, it's just the opposite of sort of the conventional wisdom that cleanliness is next to godliness. Well, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Uh, you know, there's, there's room here, of course, to uh, at least uh, admit to the fact that you know, one what what is embraced by one culture mm -hmm. <laughs> can be can be seen as upside down in another culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, in uh, in 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 my village, of course, the tendency for the elders, of course, to uh, to be very cold in front of uh, very correct physical appearance, mm -hmm. translate the fact that that appearance uh, is more connected to a desire to stick around here. Mm -hmm. stick it around in this area mm -hmm. than a desire to actually show attraction toward the other world. Yes. You mm -hmm. now, your grandfather, who, who was your teacher, was also considered, would you, would you say, a magician uh, or a, a healer, a wise man? All of these things, well, I It's guess. actually, a, yeah, <laughs> all of these things combined. You know, titles are very hard to, uh, to come by in, in, uh, in the village itself. But he was seen as uh, one of the depository of the uh, values of the ancestors, the mm -hmm. values of the tribe. Mm -hmm. uh, he performed a lot of healings on a daily basis uh, on people, some of whom were coming from pretty far away, outside of the tribal uh, limits, uh, the village limits with most of the case. Uh, but uh, he was also a person who was very versed in what I will call the science of magic, mm -hmm. who knew how to surveil, for instance, the farm from, the, from his room. The farm was f eight miles away. Mm -hmm. And at night, for some reason, uh, he, has forgotten to, uh, to, he had forgotten to sleep. And he would sit there and look through, uh, through a clay pot full of water. And while you would see water, he would see the whole picture of the, of the farm. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, if you want to look at it from a purely Western point of view, that's magical. It's like but crystal gazing. Well, that's right, it's like mm -hmm. crystal gazing. But it's also something that is based on certain subtle knowledge that only maybe a healer, a medicine man, and of course, a priest mm -hmm. of the traditional, uh, traditional world is expected to know and to be able to demonstrate, mm -hmm. not publicly, but at least to show that these are the means by which he assumes his responsibilities. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you've written that among the Dagara people, mm -hmm. uh, there are many different esoteric arts were practiced, and there were many different esoteric societies, mm -hmm. each promoting a, a different specialized practice, and, and that although y the, the tribal group was very open mm -hmm. to, to accepting these things, it was very important that the esoteric practices be kept secret. That's right. This is because of the belief that uh, is common in the, in the village, that the hidden is alive and, and potent. In order to maintain power, I mean true power, that power must be hidden. It, you must surround that power with a great deal of secrecy. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, uh, disclosure of power was signs that that power was in the process of decay. Yes. So for some reason, Becoming visible, or what they call entering the visible realm, was signs of sudden, gradual erosion. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, indeed, those different sources of knowledge that were uh, that were currently practiced or uh, exhibited in the village were done so by different group of people who sometimes would be in competition with one another. But that competition was mostly expressed in terms of how thick a veil of secrecy surrounded their power. Mm. But within, within this different, uh, different magical uh, association, if I may use that term, there was, a, there was a certain kind of innate knowledge of the other having something that the one need. Mm -hmm. And so there was this constant spying of one another for, for a little bit of the secret that the other possessed. Mm -hmm. So it was, it's really a very complex, a complex situation because one never knows what is going on under the water. Mm. On the surface, everything looked fine. Mm -hmm. But underneath, where all the powers are wielded 
and played around. Mm -hmm. It was an extremely complex world mm -hmm. indeed. Mm -hmm.